Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Wednesday the 17th of August, the local media headlines today. Now, if you've paid to help build a spaceport and you're paying the wages of everybody who works there, should you have any say in what it's actually used for? For example, if there are choices to be made between, say, launching a cuddly green environmental satellite or a nasty brutish military satellite which will make it easier to kill people, who should make those decisions? Meanwhile, Cornwall Council's refusal to answer perfectly straightforward questions about what it's really up to at Newquay Airport could see senior officials sent to prison. No, seriously although it is unlikely. A government planning inspector has given the go-ahead for 245 new houses in open countryside to the northwest of Wadebridge, warning that this is what happens if you don't have a local neighbourhood plan. And all of Cornwall's MPs have now declared who they are backing in the Tory leadership contest. By four to two, they've gone for Liz Truss, which seems to be broadly in line with the opinions of their grassroots membership. The BBC reported how some people have been burying some pretty nasty rubbish on Cornwall's beaches. Raw meat, plastic trays, drinks cans and a soiled nappy have all been found buried in the sand at Holywell Bay near Newquay, rather than taken to the town's litter bins. Pirate FM quotes South West Water as saying its drought restrictions are unlikely to go beyond a hosepipe ban due to be introduced next week. The Falmouth Packet advised readers over 50 to start thinking about their next Covid jab and finally Cornwall Live is worried about more thunderstorms. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.